Now, it's time for the birds. And it's time for us to learn and observe these magnificent creatures on a close view. We'll be up in the sky, flying with birds. This is an awesome adventure. Where birds do everything for survival. This is the second episode of The Plains of Africa. The Plains of Africa, Episode 2 The white-backed vulture circles the sky while scanning the area for freshly dead animals. This group is looking for carcasses, as they're scavengers. The white-backed vulture can only eat animals that have soft tissue, as its beak is unable to rip through tough skin. And a male impala has just walked past the dead tree. The impala is weak and broken, which is a lot better for the vultures. And for now, the group starts stalking the impala, as a pack of Africa wild dogs has just prepared for an easily meal. This curious vulture is watching the predators hunt prey, alone. The hunt begins. The wild dogs latch onto the impala, one by one, draining its stamina. And then, starts eating it alive. Now, the white-backed vultures starts patrolling around the carcass, in a circle. After around 15 minutes, the dogs have finished their food, and the vultures time has come. The group fights for food, but all of them get their meal. The white-backed vulture, an old world vulture, is the most common large vulture in Africa and is an accomplished scavenger that eats the carcasses of large animals. They gorge themselves so much they cannot fly, and then rest with wings spread and their backs facing the sun.
The African Fish Eagle is a large species of eagle found throughout sub-Saharan Africa, near large bodies of open water, with an abundant food supply. This fish eagle is on the hunt, of a carp-like fish. This African fish eagle's keen vision, sharp talons and beak, make it a successful hunter. As it spots a fish, and takes the chance. It was a success. It brings the fish to the tree, and starts the feast. But down the river, is a small group of toppy. And so let's take a look at them. This group is unaware of what's waiting in the water. A Nile crocodile, surprises the group taking one down, to the depth. The toppy group bolts off, with a speed of 70 km per hour. One day after, this river is visited by a herd of reticulated giraffes. They're also here to drink. The head, breast, and tail of African fish eagles are snow white, with the exception of the featherless face, which is yellow. Their eyes are dark brown in color. The hook-shaped beak, ideal for a carnivorous lifestyle, is yellow with a black tip. The male giraffe watches over his females. The African Fish Eagle a bird of prey require only open water with sufficient prey and a good perch. They inhabit grassland, swamps, marshes, tropical rainforest, finbos, and even desert bordering coastlines, such as that of Namibia. The giraffes finish drinking and continues their way. Incredibly, the fish eagle manages to catch another carp. But this time, Someone else has smelled the food. An intruder, which is also an African fish eagle, has challenged this eagle to a fight for food. The fight begins. This has become an air fight.
our fish eagle has lost the battle, and so, flees from the scene. But while the African fish eagles were fighting, these marabou storks stole the fish, and ate it. And the winner fish eagle, started looking for it. Here we follow a muster, of marabou storks. Marabou storks are large, long-legged, long-necked wading birds with a long, bare throat sack. This muster is looking for fish to catch. Their diet consists predominantly of carrion, fish, termites, locusts, frogs, lizards, baby crocodiles, snakes, rats, mice, and other birds. One of them catches a fish, and some storks immediately dig in. More fish get caught by the marabou storks, and more do they get as food. But night will come soon, and they start to prepare for it. And by night, the marabou storks fly off to safer grounds. in the moonlight. And now we watch another species of vulture. The lappet-faced vulture. is a large bird with a heavy head and massive bill. It has mainly dark feathers and is easily identified by its bare pink head and large, fleshy folds of skin on the sides of its neck. This kettle of vultures are flying to a group of copiers. With a wingspan up to 9 feet wide, the lappet-faced vulture is the largest vulture in Africa. Its name comes from the folds of skin on either side of its neck called lappets. They have arrived at their destination called, the group of copiers. And by the time they were flying, the time got from 7.35 a.m. to 9.50 a.m. The lappet-faced vulture dominates other vultures during feeding. 
It is powerful enough to drive off a jackal. The vultures are now resting, and will soon fly off in search of animal carcasses. A young male that we are following, doesn't want to stand in this mess. So he flies to this dead tree. He realizes that, the others start the searching. And so, by noon the group starts their searching. Now to the largest bird in the world. The common ostrich, reaching a length of 2.8 meters, weighing around 63 to 145 kilograms, making it world's largest bird. This harem of ostriches, are here at this watering hole, drinking water after a day. The female ostriches are grey in colour, while the male has black feathers and light pink skin. Ostriches live in flocks numbering 5 to 50, and are normally found alongside grazing animals such as antelope and zebras. These birds like water and frequently take baths, if given the opportunity, and are good swimmers. The most known thing about the ostrich is that, they're flightless. This is because their flat breast bones lack the keel that anchors the strong pectoral muscles required for flight. Their puny wings can't possibly lift their heavy bodies off the ground. Ostriches can lash out a deadly kick, which is capable of killing a lion. They can also run, 70 kilometers per hour. But something will happen, very soon. The harem has been spotted by three cheetahs. And so, running is something important. Only two ostriches survived. The last one, was hunted by the African cheetahs. Here in Sub-Saharan Africa, we have another strong bird. The one and only, Marshall Eagle. It is the largest eagle of Africa, which are found in most of Sub-Saharan Africa. They prefer to live in open woods and woodland edges, wooded savanna and thorn bush habitats. This female, eats everything from lizards to birds. She normally preys on doves. And we are gonna watch this female hunt. A dole of doves has caught her attention. 
so she starts preparing for the hunt. The quick hunt begins. Well, that was all she did, under 10 seconds. But let's watch it in slow motion. Incredible speed. Marsh legals fly faster than 230 km per hour, which is insanely fast. And she digs in. Let's watch a bear, of Marshall Eagles. These two birds, are on the way home. And it looks like they have visitors. A small herd of Harta Beast, also known as Congonies have just, settled here. But in the meantime, an African fish eagle is making its way, to the Marshall Eagle's nest. They are warning intruders, to stay away from their territory. But a stranger fish eagle, has just caught their attention by flying right to this tree. Which led to a fight. But with insane strength, the male Marshall Eagle, grabs the fish eagle with its talons, dropping it to the ground. Unexpected, the fish eagle died, because of an old injury getting hit again. And the Marshall Eagles won the fight, earning a free snack. The eagles decide to save it for later, as resting is better, after a fight. Watch out for this one. And so, for the last of this episode, we watch some Cape Turtle dance. These are like normal doves, but they live all across South Africa. They have been around this Cape Buffalo, ever since they found it. The Cape Turtle Dove lives in most types of woodland, as well as farmland, suburban parks and gardens. It mainly eats seeds, as well as fruit, nectar, leaves and insects. But while the doves and the buffalo are grazing, this male African lion is on his way to them. But soon after, the male lion arrives and causes panic. 
The Cape Buffalo reacts fast, and prepares for a fight. The lion attacks with a powerful swipe to the buffalo's back, but it manages to run away. The doves follow them, but still have a distance from both of them. The buffalo charges at the lion, but it misses the hit which leaves the male lion to swipe it again. But the male still leaves the scene, frightened by the cape buffalo. This was our adventure, of this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. So stay tuned for the third episode of, The Plains of Africa. The Plains of Africa Episode 2 The Birds of Africa